My friend and shooting buddy is the president founder of a company that has uh, some expertise and experience in uh, wind reading with radars. And he teamed with a big scope company, big optics company, and uh, I've been wanting to say this forever, but finally today he gave me permission. The Trijicon Ventus is, uh, it's been announced. It's uh, gonna be out later this year. It is worth checking out. Uh, the reason I'm excited is this is not another laser rangefinder that is able to tell the angle and Bluetooth it to your uh, phone or to your iPad. This is a big deal. This is a wind reader. It's gonna read the wind at six different distances between the shooter and 500 yards. That's incredible. Yeah, I wish it went all the way out to 2,000 yards. It's coming. Evidently, they could make it read the wind further out. They can make it read out to 35 miles when they're doing their stuff in the ocean. The reason they can't do that with this unit is because it would start getting too big to be compact for the purpose most people are gonna use it is for hunting. And you wanna be able to slip it in your backpack and go. So that's why they're not gonna have the long, long, long range uh, wind reading ability. But let's think about it. Where does the wind matter most? The wind matters most the first distance, some argue, and others argue it matters most when the bullet is at its highest point off of the earth. It's where the wind is blowing faster usually or stronger, and we can't really tell what it's doing there because it's above the vegetation. The mirage isn't as easy up in the sky if you're shooting over a, a canyon or whatever, uh, or you know the hollow, something like that. So we really want to know what the wind is doing at the mid-range and the close range. Well, this is gonna let us know at the close range. And if you're shooting a thousand yards, that'll let you know at the uh, mid-range as well. So provided everything works as well as I hope and expect that it will, they've been putting so much work into this. I mean, geesh, the, the, the delays and they think this is gonna work. Oh, we, we can make it better. And they've just been working on it, working on it. And it looks like it's getting really close. That's exciting. They're trying to keep the cost down. Yeah, it's gonna be expensive. It's the first wind reader, handheld wind reader, that reads out to 500 yards in the history of humankind. I'm guessing it's not gonna be $120 yet. They'll probably get it down in five or 10 years, but immediately, right off the shelf, it's gonna be pricey, I'm sure. Probably worth it. If you can read the wind out to 500 yards, Come on. So anyway, this is exciting. Check it out. Stay tuned to their uh, Facebook or, or YouTube channels and such and, and their so other social media and stay up to date with what's coming out. I'm sure they'll give us more details. It looks incredible. Check it out. Trijicon, they've sure made an advancement this time because my buddy is the brains behind the operation. He wouldn't like it that I say that, uh, but the truth is he's he's the wind radar guy, and then Trijicon put it together with all their optics. They're brilliant engineers working on it. I'm sure there are people I don't know about that have, that have played a huge role. This is big. This is incredible. Trijicon Ventus, check it out. Oh, subscribe to this channel too, if you will, and follow us. Sometime if you ever want to shoot a target at a mile, come out and play with us at Nomad Rifleman. And by the way, I've been calling it a radar. Technically, it's a LIDAR. Uh, it's a, a lighter laser radar uh, rather than radar. Uh, but just an incredible, incredible invention.